As fast as the machine goes? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Alright guys, we're here this morning. Uh, we got the uh, the awning people coming and man, we're excited for that. Uh, the pad's all looking good. I brought a rake and a shovel just in case we need to smooth out a couple spots. Uh, but uh, man, and I've never been here this early. Uh, it's about 7.30 right now. I got here about 7. And uh, the sun, sunrise is really nice. The air is real cool. Uh, you hear the neighbor's chickens and goats and it's just... Uh, Way better than hearing uh, car traffic, I can tell you that. And, uh, we can't wait to get out here. As fast as the machine goes? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> so they got the roof up, just about. Pretty big. Four foot wide and 40 foot long. 12 foot legs. These legs are 12 foot. And then we got a A frame type uh, roof to where we can catch water off of it. So we'll be able to put gutters on there. Got black trim, Quaker gray roof, which of course you can't see the roof from here. But uh, the other wall on that end over there is going to be uh, closed in, so you'll be able to see it there.
igual. And uh, the one wall up and quick agree. We got the roof almost pretty much done. It's starting to look like an awning. This awning again is 24 foot wide, 41 feet long, and uh, with a Quaker gray uh, paneling, and then with a black trim, and it turned out fantastic. Uh, the guys, man, they they worked their butt off all day today getting it done. It took them, you know, seven eight hour day. So uh, they of course they took a little lunch break and whatnot, but uh, that's pretty quick for putting up one of these, I believe, in one single day. I mean that's that's some hard work so we got this building uh out of angus texas uh there's a little place right off the highway there off 45 um called angus portable buildings and uh i got in touch with uh with the lady there um off facebook and i uh, got recommended by a few other people about the place so um i immediately went up there and asked them you know get some quotes on uh getting one of these built for our rv and she was very open to all my questions uh you know never got never got irritated with me because i asked a bunch of questions when i'm getting something done like this um anyway she was very easy to work with uh if y'all want a building i highly suggest angus portable buildings in angus texas um the people who install uh, i believe is going to be castle metal buildings um they're out of camp everything's made here in texas uh everything's put together uh around the spot in one day most of the time so uh 
I mean, you can't go wrong with that. This built this this awning is going to serve a great purpose for us. Um, we've got an A-frame, um, which at the top is going to have an angle to it. That way we can put gutters on it. It's not the ones that curve down like your typical car uh, awnings. But uh, with the with the A with the A-frame on top, we can put our gutters down it, run them down. We can put our tanks right here to catch water in, and. Uh, that way we'll have a water source out here and then we'll connect it to our pump house and everything. Um, so all that's coming pretty soon now that we have an actual awning here, we can work with it. All right, so right now I'm just gonna give you a closer look on the, how this looks uh, as we pull up down our driveway. And then also uh, I'm gonna give you a look at kind of just the details about it. You know, the people I'm thinking really about is the anchors. Um, we got a bunch of those in here and then just like the trim work and uh, basically how the colors look up close. So when we're coming down our driveway, this is the last bit of the driveway here. As you can see, through the trees, just a very nice awning. We have three open ends and one closed end on this one. Right now it's in the evening and we have a little bit of sun coming in from this way. We didn't really want to box it in too much. Um, just we we want to be able to have some light in there, so we just close in this side. So we'll have the RV right here, and then we'll be able to store uh, like other things next to the RV, and it'll be kind of enclosed in there pretty much. Probably park our cars over there or something. So the anchors first they put these in these are like probably two and a half three foot long just like big old nails they go on the ground they hammered them in there and then they twisted these uh, anchors into the ground they're mobile home anchors and then bolted that to it and there's five on each side so you got five over here five over here ten total and that's what that little machine was early in the video the guy was using the twist these in so the gray color is the roof and the paint and the side over here I don't know if you can really tell but just a gray it's kind of a darker gray I'd say and then with the black trim right here Also got black trim across the top there and over there and then all the way down the middle. Under here, everything's just a, just a metal-ish color, silver. It's actually a lot cooler in here than I was gonna expect. And there you have it. So yeah, guys, we're ready for the for the RV. We're ready to put it in here. Um, Y'all stay tuned for more on that. And then also on water catchment, uh, we already have our pump house being built. That's new to y'all, and uh, you'll see it in the following video, I'm sure. But uh, that's coming together. We got. We got to put some gutters on here, get our tanks in, get everything situated, and then we'll be moving along. We'll see y'all next time. See ya!